mirror and ask yourself, what am I good at that none of my family members is good at? Mm -hmm. Then the next question is, what am I good at that none of my province people is good at? Mm -hmm. Then the next question is, what am I good at that no one in the country of the Philippines is good at? If you have something that you're good at, you should go all in. So when I was a software engineer, I said, what am I good at that no one at PayPal is good at? You know what it was? Making videos, yeah. screaming. I was like, hello! You know? I was so loud. Everybody else was so quiet. Yeah. I was making a Facebook status update and I got 50 likes. And my roommate got five. I was like, wow! I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, you need to start thinking about this stuff. My status update, for some reason, 50 people liked it while he got five. Maybe I'm better at speaking than he is. And if I'm better at speaking than he is, if I speak in a video, I may get 500 likes. And that's when I started to know, okay, this is what I'm good at. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm not gonna do software engineering. Six years later, I started to ask myself the same question. What am I good at that no other influencer is good at? What am I better than RJ Bowles at? What am I better than my Nigerian friends at? What am I better than Tony at? Tony is actually really, really cool in front of the camera. RJ is amazing in front of the camera. So are my Nigerian friends. So I'm not better than them. But I am better at technology. Mm -hmm. So now I'm building Knott's IO. Right. The technology thing I showed you. You should always do, only do the things you're excellent at, and nothing else. This is why I'm moving from content back to technology. I hope that makes sense of how I think about the next step. Yeah. Cool. Good luck. What would I do? What would I do? Oh man, it's so hard. <laughs> The, the answer is boring. I will do the same thing. Oh. I will start by making videos, and I will start by putting them on the internet. And then, once I have enough people listening, I'm going to ask them to support my company. So here's how Nas Daily works. We make a video, it gets 10 million views. 10 million people watch it. But only one of these people is the CEO of a big company. The CEO is watching Nas Daily in the bathroom, okay? He's literally in the bathroom right here, okay? And he's watching Nas Daily. <laughs> and he sees the video and he says, oh, we should make these videos for my company. Let me give Nas Daily money to make a video for me. So, you see what we did? So we started with a lot of views, and then from five viewers, we made a lot of money. Not from you guys, from five people in five companies. So that strategy works really well for Nas Daily. And I would want to do it again. Building community starts on the internet or offline, but once you have enough of a community, one of your community members will give you. So if you can really change your life in five years, you can change your life twice and a half before you die. So I really don't like this whole idea that 58 I'm done. You're done only when you're six feet under. I know. Yeah, good luck. Go build Nas Daily. You have a lot of time. <laughs> what? Tell me the future of, um, what can you tell about the future of content creation? What can I tell about the picture of content creation? Future. Oh, future. future! Okay, that's the... He already told me. Well, that's an easy question. What's the future of content creation? I mean, it's very simple. TV is gonna die, social media is gonna become TV, and then you are gonna be the next CNN. Oh. That's it. So like RJ Bowles, CNN, on Facebook. That's the future, I think. Yeah. Good luck. We want to open an office in the Philippines. We do. We already have an office in 
the Philippines of 20, 25 people. So we have an office. It's just not physical. It's not physical because COVID, rent. Now, if the Philippines team wants a physical office, we can talk next year. Okay, but for now, we have a virtual office in the Philippines and I would want to have hundreds of people if I can do well. Do you know what that means? Do good and do well at the same time. So what I want to do is I want to make a lot of money. I want to make a billion dollars. But I don't want to make a billion dollars from gambling or from tobacco or from alcohol or from meat or from stupid stuff. I don't want to do it by selling plastic. I just don't want to do it. I want to see if I can make a billion dollars and still make the world better because of it. So the way NASIO works is we only make money if you make money. That's the beauty of it. So if we help you make $100, I will make $10. But you made $90. So your life is better and my life is better. And that's the profit idea of NASIO. It's like your profit is also, your success is my success. Second, take rate. You're not paying me anything, you're not giving me any money, um, and I think this is much better for the world. And I think if anybody builds a community, it's better for the world. You need to build a Bolivia community. You need to build a Nigerians and Philippines community. You need to build a virtual assistance number two community, a budgetarian bride community, and a husband community. You know, there's a million communities that need to be built. And I think that's good for the world. So again, do good and do well at the same time. That's about all that happened last year. I think it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for me and it wasn't easy for the team in the Philippines. Because the team in the Philippines knows the truth. When you know the truth and social media tells a different story, it makes you sad. It makes you angry. It makes you feel powerless. You know, even with 50 million followers, Sometimes, fake news is very strong. So, one thing I learned is that in the world, you can be the most loved person in a day, but also the most hated person in a day. And that's dangerous. Another thing that's dangerous is we believe everything we see on the internet. That's not good. So, I really hope people in the Philippines and outside the Philippines can look at things on the internet and ask themselves, is this true or not? Not see something and share it immediately. So, so the way I think about it, we were unfortunately victims of somewhat of a fake news. Um, and it, it, it cost us a lot. A lot of time, a lot of effort. But luckily, it's all behind us. The whole thing is behind us. And now nobody talks about it, and it's like completely like it's just selfie, selfie after selfie. So, so, but but I think it was a good reminder of how dangerous social media is. We all love it, but it's really, really dangerous. And in other instances, in other cases, social media can kill people, and that would suck. But I um. When I went to Harvard, I thought I was the smartest guy in the world. Right? Oh, Harvard! I made it to Harvard, I'm so smart! Then, I applied, I graduated, I started to apply for jobs. I applied for a hundred jobs. Facebook, PayPal, uh, uh, Google, um, uh, Twitter, uh, Honda, Tesla, I applied everywhere. I was begging people, I want a job, any job. You know how many job offers I got? One. Zero. Zero. And I was like, oh my God, like, you're supposed to be a Harvard student, you should find a job. And the only job I got was at this small company called Venmo. And the only reason I got it is because the CEO like to hang out. <laughs> Literally, just like to party with me. Oh, I like, I like, I like hanging out with you. That's him. 
Um, he said, oh, I like hanging out with you. I don't care about your everything. Here's a job. And then he gave me a good salary. And if he didn't give me the job, I wouldn't be able to save money. If I couldn't save money, I couldn't stay in America. If I couldn't save money or stay in America, Nas Navy would not be here. So because he took a chance at me, I'm here talking to you. And fuck all these other companies. <laughs> this is why giving a job is so important. Mm -hmm. Now I gave him 1% of Nas Daily. Oh. Yeah. I was like, I was like you, you really you know, changed my life. So. And now he has so much money in Nas Daily. Okay. He made a lot of money from us. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my biggest rejection is cannot find a job. He's still my answer. <laughs> do not do anything based on my answer, okay? <laughs> um, so here's the way I think about it. Here's the way I think about it. So right here, I have, I have $20, right? So like this $20, in my opinion, is worth $20 today. But in a hundred years, how much is this worth? Zero. Zero. So every single currency in the world goes to zero. There's not a single currency that uh, does not go to zero. But nobody tells us that cash is going to become zero in the next few years. So the decision is yours. <laughs>